I also tried to move my camera a little bit so you can like see what's going on here. There we go. You can see my pot. So, uh, as you can read, hi. Uh, I'm gonna make tuna casserole. Um, this is because Papa's out of town. I'm not gonna tell you for how long or where, so I'm not raped and murdered. <laughs> Please don't rape and murder me. Um, but he hates tuna fish casserole. Hates it. So it's kind of a tradition whenever he leaves that I make it for myself. So I forgot about it. And he was like, what are you going to do while I'm gone? Make tuna casserole? I was like, yeah, actually I am. Pretty sure I put on the oldie station. This is not an oldie. Anyway, I've pretty much done everything that I need to do in terms of prep. This is a very easy thing to make. The only thing I have to do right now is chop onion and boil water for the noodles. So let's get started. Can you see me? Oh, you can, kind of. Real life kitchen lighting, okay. This is my favorite burner, you'd think I'd know how to turn it on. Uh, so I thought I would talk about why I like cooking so much, and that's because both my parents are, woo, excellent cooks. Perfect, actually. Um, they're very different in their styles in that they both get done with some tuna fish, you know, but tuna fish casserole is more my dad's forte. Proudly make tuna fish casserole. It's lit! Um, I'm going to put butter in this other pan, by the way. The noodle pan is on high. This pan is on low because the stove is insane. Heat is hot when it's gas. Um, yeah, so this is his recipe. It's something we made a lot growing up. I got no shame in a casserole, neither does my dad. Okay, so that's about a half a stick of butter. Stuck to the ever-loving. There we go. And I think it's really good, okay? Everyone I talked to, like, oh, I'm gonna make tuna fish casserole, they were like, hell yeah! Tuna casserole is good! I'm like, I know, okay, good. I don't feel as embarrassed then for liking it. <laughs> now that I know other people like it. Ooh, okay. You know what, that melt? Oh my god, why is this so good? Let me get all the stuff I need, too. See that? Oh my god, you can see my whole kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen. I don't think I need anything else. I also like that you can't really see in the fridge because it's a little bit of a mess in here. There's one ingredient that I've never put in tuna fish casserole that I'm kind of thinking about adding. I don't know. I'm gonna take it out. Ugh. Ew. First, let me throw away these old pears. Ew. This is real life. This is really coming from my kitchen. Ooh. Okay, here we go. This is a maybe. And it's covered in flour from I forget what. Oh, it's from when I deep fried a pickle. Well, not deep. I mean, I fried it like a pickle chip and it was good. Um, last week I made, or last week, yeah, last week I made cheesecake for Papa's birthday. He had his birthday. It was great. And the cheesecake was very good. It came out excellent. I did find the blackberries. They were in there the whole time. Just couldn't see them. All right, let's start chopping onion. This is my least favorite part, and I just saved it for the last also because I didn't want, I feel like when you chop onions, they just aren't as good when you chop them and then don't use them for a while. Maybe that's just me. Mm. So what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was talking about how my parents like to cook. My dad's a casserole man, and my mom, not so much. I don't, I'm trying to think actually, did she ever actively make a casserole? 
Not really. She's a little more highfalutin. Um, she is the reason that I like cooking shows so much, too. She watched them full time while I was growing up, and I was allowed to watch as much PBS as I wanted under her watch. My dad didn't really care. He let me watch whatever TV <laughs> I had in mind, um, which is not very appropriate, but I turned out okay. Uh, but yeah, at her house, it was all OPB all the time, and to this day, it's like my favorite channel. It's the coolest thing in the world, but I don't know. It's learning, but it's disguised as entertainment. It works on me. I love it, and it's very soothing, too. And it hasn't changed since my childhood. I'm 34 years old. I swear to Christ, Sewing with Nancy has been on for 30 years, and she looks the same. Like, nothing has changed. Y'all don't want to know how hard I cried when Mr. Rogers died. Like, that was a pivotal shift in my life. Because now there's not Mr. Rogers. Like, crazy. Ooh, more water. <laughs> Can you see that? Show for you. Oh, I probably shouldn't put that there. I have, the butter is melted and it's starting to make little bubbles. So I'm going to add my, uh, some mushroom. I bought a thing of chopped mushrooms and then um, chopped them a little bit more. So I guess they were sliced. And then I just ran a knife through them because I don't like big pieces of mushroom. So I'm just going to let that cook. Oh, actually. <laughs> yeah, there's just mushroom schmutz in there. Okay. <laughs> Recycle, baby. If I didn't just drop that all over the ever-loving stove. All right, whatever. So yeah, we're going to saute some mushroom and butter. I'm going to add this onion to it. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of flour. I don't have regular flour, so I'm going to use whole wheat. I think it'll be fine. Don't see why not. Uh, oh my god. I, I can't, I can't do this right now, apparently. Normally I don't miss the container, but I am, I am missing it right now. It's fine. Ugh. Anyway, before I went on a rant about um, how much I love PBS, uh, I was talking about how my parents uh, are both great cooks, but of different types. And uh, my mom never made a casserole, but she has probably the most delicious tuna fish recipe. Um, and I mean more like tuna melt. She makes a very specific tuna melt. It involves like a full slice of apple, a bagel. It's good. And Miracle Whip. God forbid there be Miracle Whip in anything except she keeps a jar just for tuna purposes, just for tuna fish purposes. So that is one like weird, funny, idiosyncratic, wow, thing about her that um, is like, a, it's, it's a love-hate thing. She's very judgmental towards Miracle Whip unless it's in a tuna fish salad. And then she's all for it. Then it's okay. Oh my god. I'm canceled. Cancel my show. Ooh. I just spilled onion freaking everywhere. Actually, not everywhere. Okay, there's like one chunk that I can't get to because it's too hot there. I'm loving this camera setup. Why have I not pointed it over here all the time? Also, the lighting today is beautiful. It's a, it's a foggy day gray. It's exactly how I like the weather. Okay, so there's an the onion. I cut it. It's chopped. She's ready to go in, but I'm going to let the mushrooms absorb the butter. Um, I'm going to chop some garlic. Where is it? Let's see if I, can, if I can find a garlic that's fresh. Hiya! Whoever's there, thank you for watching. Ooh, that's nasty. That's an old garlic. Okay. Oh, I have a whole other onion to chop. Oh my God. Two onions. 
Holy cow, I forgot to chop the second onion. Also, um, I swear I ate lunch. I don't know why I'm so shaky and weird. That's probably why I'm dropping everything. I ate quite a substantial lunch. It was very good. Roasted veg left over from when we roasted veg like a week ago, but whatever, it was fine. Oh, they went away. Ha <laughs> ha, bye. Um, yeah, my wrist kind of hurt all day today too, so I didn't. I didn't do much. I kind of wanted to get some more like crafting done today. Um, instead, I just did Minecrafting. <laughs> Very exciting developments in Maystopia. Actually, not super exciting. I'm just remodeling another village. But it's a. Uh, it's kind of more on a hill. The last. It's. It's still a plains village. I have yet to find. Um, well, the one cat I have came from a desert village that I found a long time ago, but, um, it's another Plains village. It's just on some hills. So I'm, a lot of the houses are getting the bottoms dug out and then like cool overhanging porches added. Oh, that smells good. Yum. Okay. I, uh, Harden, Harden My Heart is legit like an 80s song, right? Why was that on the oldie station? Whatever, anyway. Ooh. Mushrooms are smelling good. There we go. Give me my oldies back, man. Welcome to whoever is watching. Welcome to me chopping an onion in this terrible lighting. You can't see anything. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Um, so the other things that are in this casserole are celery and carrot. I've already chopped those. I did that this morning um, just to get it out of the way. Um, I also have decided that the letter C is really weird and stupid. And so every word with that starts with C, I'm pronouncing the opposite. They <laughs> left to everyone's like, baby. That's fine. Um, I've, I've started pronouncing C's the opposite of how they are. So carrot is serrat and celery is kelory. That's just how I want to live my life right now. I just want to make fun of the letter C. Um, also, I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm listening to Game of Thrones as I go to sleep. And I think I'm on the second book. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm on the second book. I'm listening to an audiobook on YouTube. Let's see how long it takes this person to leave. <laughs> it's not your fault, I'm boring. Um, well, there's the only reason I'm able to listen to this while I fall asleep is because there's a show. So I kind of have a point of reference for what's going on. Um, but some people are not in the show. Right now I'm at the point in the story where the Starks and the Lannisters are fighting because... Um, What's his face died, and Joffrey's about to be king, and we all hate. Who likes Joffrey, right? Ew. But Rob is still alive, and he's leading a, some sort of charge, and uh, into like Lannister turf. They're about to duke it out, and uh, there's a dude on Team Lannister named Serret, and I was like, that's what I call carrots right now. And it also reminds me of Sarmet, who is everyone's favorite Italian greyhound. So. Serret is the word of the week. Okay, I did okay that time. I only spilled one onion chunk. All right, my mushrooms are starting to smell real good. I have no idea where that onion chunk went. And they're getting a little brown. Um, mushrooms are like nature's sponge, so I cook them first in the butter so they absorb butter and then have a flavor. Oh, I'm going to get out my herbs. That's also what I should do. Um, okay. Oh, and my water is bomb. I'm trying to decide if I should cook a whole box of noodles or a half box. I think I'm going to do a whole box. I'm incapable of making a one person amount of food, by the way. So this is a two person amount of food plus leftovers. Sorry, I just, that's how I live my life. Oh, I just stepped on that onion piece. I felt it. I'm wearing very thick socks. Oh, and I threw away the garlic. R.I.P. garlic. It's in there, it's gone now. It's in a little box. Where did that onion go? Okay, 
Okay, there it is. I found it. At first I thought it was gone forever. No, I found it. All right. just mushroom and onion in the pan by the way I didn't add salt because I wanted everything to brown I know salt doesn't make onions caramelize so I don't ever add it to onions oh, I should get out my colander okay I'm using shells, by the way. Normally I use, uh, oh my dad, this is his recipe. He'd use the twirly pasta. Um, oh my God, I don't have a pasta spoon anymore, I don't think. The twirly kind that comes in three colors. For some reason he felt like the three, yes. The three colors was, was beautiful. That was always his preference in a tuna casserole. Or I should say is. He's, he's with us. He's alive and well and making tuna casserole. Oh, that's not enough water. Pro tip, when you don't have enough water, use the kettle water, even though it's probably not hot anymore. <laughs> oh, that's definitely not big enough. Whoops. Whoops. Also, did my phone move? I'm seeing so much ceiling. Welcome to my ceiling. I'm glad I painted that trim. It's like the only place in the house where the ceiling trim is not atrocious. Okay, oh, I don't have this box anymore, do I? No, this is, oh yeah, I moved a little bit. There we go. Sorry now, Anna. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Oh, who's talking to me? <gasps> hey girl, I'm making tuna. You're from the Midwest, so you understand. Casserole is life, so good. Um, I have a coworker from the Midwest and I mentioned that I was going to make tuna fish casserole. She was like, ugh, because she's vegan now, which is cool. Good for her. But, um, it's also, she misses tuna fish casserole. Now. So, uh, she's like, I don't know. I gotta find a recipe. And I was like, chickpeas, baby. So, uh, hopefully she figures that out. I have a friend in town who makes like vegan meal delivery and I hooked her up with the Instagram so we could be friends. I knew you would love tuna casserole. I knew it. Um, let me get out my herbs. What do I want? I actually know what I want. I want... Uh, no, I can't find it. Okay, I want thyme. And I want... Dill, there it is. Dill? Oh, hell yeah, garlic, because I haven't <laughs> had the garlic yet. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Ooh, 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 mustard. I am reminded I need to find a piece of garlic that's not gross. I know I have one. one's like empty. <laughs> empty garlic skin. Okay, I know there's one that's not gross. There has to be one. Oh, 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 maybe? Oh my god, no. God, what a pig I am. Here we go. Oh! Oh! This is a horror show. All my garlic is old. Every single garlic clove I have is old. What is that emoji? Oh my God, it's a tuna. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh my God. <sighs> Bye. Jake Boston. Um, and Troy, you're honestly one of the best uh, cooking inspirations on Instagram, my friend. So thank you for being inspiring to me. <sighs> okay. 
I'm pretty bummed about this garlic situation, but I also don't like getting garlic on my fingers as previously mentioned, so it's okay, it's cool. I'll be all right. Squirrel! Oh my God. Oh, this is cute. This happens every time. It's drinking out of an upside down bucket. It's like this. Oh God, this is so cute. Ugh. It's a gift. Every time I stream, I see a squirrel on my back porch and I get distracted by it because it's so cute. I swear it doesn't happen. Well, okay, it happens sometimes, but <laughs> pretty frequently. So oh, that was really exciting. All right. We're getting there. I'm gonna let the onion cook until it's like, yeah, clear. That's the word I'm looking for, translucent. Then I'm gonna add herbs and probably the <laughs> serret <laughs> and celery, right? Uh, the secret ingredient I'm, I'm on the fence about. I don't know, I think I'm gonna add frozen stuff. Sorry, just heard a weird noise. Not a squirrel. Um, <laughs> I'm on the hunt now. I just don't know. I really don't know. Everyone's gone. By the way, bye everyone. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm going to tell you what the secret ingredient is. No one's watching. So it's a secret between me People who might watch this on YouTube later. Did I already show it? Pickles. I'm thinking about putting pickles in it. Because you put pickles on a tuna fish sandwich, right? So why would you not put them in a casserole? Sasserole. Oh, speaking of sasserole, the squirrel is jumping around in the yard now. Jumping around in the grass. She's being cute as all hell. Where'd it go? Oh, hi, bud. Everyone left when I started watching the squirrel. Don't care. Squirrel over everything. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. All right. I really, I really have to think about this pickle situation. My noodles are finally boiling again. Onion's almost translucent. I have pepper. I have salt. I have herbs. Let me get my frozen stuff so I don't forget it. Oh, and I should open my can. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Peace. Frozen peace. Duh. What else would you add? Uh, frozen corn, but I have a can of that, actually. So what I need to open is my can opener. Who prefers this old style can opener? I don't like it, it hurts my hand. But everything hurts my hand, so I'm just gonna shut the hell up. All right, I need to make sure this noodle doesn't overcook as well, because it is going to cook in the um, oven. And before we drain it, we gotta get a bunch of delicious pasta water or else Bon Appetit would be mad at me. I'm gonna check a noodle. Oh my God, it's perfect, okay. Turn that off. Let me get one bag. with pasta water. Just in case. I don't plan on needing it, but I might. Oh my god, I have to put it somewhere that it won't melt the dang counter. Okay. Put it on that cutting board. Mm. Oh my god, that's perfect. Oh my god! I kind of wish this pot had um, a handle on the other side of it, but that's because I'm an old lady. All right, I'm gonna get that kind of off the heat. Oh, I was gonna open my corn. Whoever's watching me pour pasta in the drain, thank you. I appreciate your business. It's 325 on a Saturday. I'm sure there's better things you could be doing with your life. But you're spending it with me. Um, also, Papa is out of town. 
for like I said, an undetermined amount of time. Actually, I'm gonna spill the beans on how long. So whoever's watching, please don't come kill me. I already said that, <laughs> already made that warning. Um, I'm planning on not interacting IRL with a human being until Tuesday. And for some people that sounds lonesome and sad. <laughs> oh, cool, someone left. They left on the way to come murder me. Cool, okay. We'll stream that too. Um, I shouldn't joke about that. It's not funny. Usually when I joke about something, it happens. So, I'm just not gonna do that. Ooh, okay. I'm alone, so I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I did just chug the corn juice. It's so good. That's also a heart family tradition. You haven't made a heart family casserole unless you've chugged the corn juice out of the can. It's part of why I don't use frozen corn, even though I do think frozen corn would be superior. All right. We got, we got some, some clearness. I'm going to stop banging my spoon against the side. Sorry about that. Let's add thyme. Because she needs to chill here. That's enough. Give her a little kirsch. Oh, that reminds me of my other secret ingredient. I haven't even mentioned it. So I have mentioned that I've talked with multiple people about how I'm going to make tuna casserole. And the topic of discussion was what do you like on top of your casserole? First thing was time. This is garlic granules, by the way. And I'm adding extra because I just clearly didn't have garlic. It's out of garlic. Here's some dill. Again, I don't, I don't measure anything. I'm just adding it until I think like it looks enough, I guess. I've got mustard, ground mustard. And again, I'm not, I'm not adding very much of this, just a little bit. Boom. I want to add that now so it like heats up, opens up, and becomes delicious. And you can smell it. The thyme dill is a, it, it sounds like a weird combo, but it works. It's good. Yeah. I think I might need to add some chili flake. That's what I'm missing. Ooh, and I'm almost out. That's a lot. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I smell the garlic. Okay, good. I was worried it wouldn't be delicious. But I smell the garlic and it smells good. All right, open up these herbs. So I'm kind of trying to cook the water out of these veg, the mushroom and the onion. Again, because um, mushroom is nature's sponge. And it'll absorb whatever you give to it. And then onion is pretty liquidy. So that's why I cooked the mushroom first, just so it could dry out a little bit and then absorb the sabor of the onion as it releases. And then now that there's herbs up in the mix, it's all good. Oh, salt and pepper, hello. I'm gonna do like a pretty coarse ground right now because this is the base of the casserole sauce. So it's gonna get fully cooked. I'm adding a lot of pepper. Oh my God, that hurts my wrist. What I love about this OXO is either hand can grind. So when my right hand hurts, my left hand can do something. Yay! My right hand has been hurting a lot the past couple days. Um, I've been wearing a brace actually every moment I'm not needing to use the hand. So like I mentioned I did some stuff in Maze-topia. As soon as I finish this and pop it in the oven, I'm going back to Maze-topia. Um, to work on those houses. It's pretty fun. And I'm doing a lot of podcasting. Oh, here's my endorsement for the week. If y'all are not listening to Hit Parade, it's my favorite podcast. It's so good. It's about the billboard charts, but it puts chart toppers into historical context in a really cool way and kind of relates certain trends or certain musicians with others that you would not associate with each other. It's super good. It's very interesting. It's many times had me like 
jaw dropped at the information it's told. It's so good. So Chris Malamphy, a Slate podcast hit parade. So good. The last episode was about the Cure, the Smiths, Depeche Mode, Joy Division, Susie and the Banshees. So I was dying because in addition to being great chefs, my parents are old punk rockers. So I was raised on that music and it is not like he called it weird. What's he called in High Fidelity? It's the sad bastard music. I'm such a sad bastard. And each episode has a bridge episode. And they mention the Young Ones, which is my favorite show as a child. Young Ones and Pee Wee's Playhouse. Those were like the two shows that shaped me as a child. And clearly, teetering crockery, all right? I, I, can't, I can't get over it. So please listen to Hit Parade. Super interesting, super fascinating. I might listen to that episode again. Because it was so good. So I'm really digging in my roots here. All right, woo, she's cooking. All right, I'm gonna add Sarah and Calorie. And I don't wanna cook this very much. Those are just chopped into cubes. It was five celery stalks and three medium carrots. So again, I, I'd rather have undercooked carrots that are slightly crunchy than overcooked. Oh, this is going to be so good. Probably should have added the flour first before the veg, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. You just have to cook the flour a little bit. Oh, my God. Back hurts. Wow. Okay, sorry. I'm going to stop complaining. So like I said, I'm using whole wheat flour. I've never made a roux with whole wheat flour before, but I'm pretty sure it'll still work. I don't see why not. This is a china spoon, so maybe two tablespoons. I just want to make sure this thickens up. Um, I'm probably gonna add pasta water to it. Who's watching me? Hey, oh, <laughs> gross, you're disgusting. Ah, but thanks for watching. Wow! I just got sexually harassed by old stream, you guys! That's never happened! Wow! Made me drop a serret in between the stove and the counter, but it's fine. I can lose a serret. Wow. Wow. Um, I don't think it shows on... I'm gonna save this and put it on YouTube, so... Crispy Bark Hands 1 said, Hey! Where are the homies at, bruh? I'm trying to get this nut out. Well, if you like watching a semi-middle-aged lady with uh, two inches of root make a tuna fish casserole, if that's what gets your rocks off, good for you. I'm actually, like, pretty supportive of that. And you're still here. Very supportive of that. So, I don't know. Um, like I said, Pee Wee's Playhouse was one of my favorite shows growing up. And um, the song is playing. Tequila. So... I would dance, but I'm cooking. Oh my god, my flour is starting to cook. She's feeling a little dry, the pan. So I'm gonna add, oh, I'm not alone anymore. Corn juice. And add some pasta water. Cause YOLO, why not? It's my casserole. Oh, you know what I should be calling it? Sasserole. Because C is the dumbest letter. It doesn't make any sense. Sasserole. That's, that's what happens when a Scorpio makes a casserole. It becomes a sasserole. All right. I'm going to add all of it, I think. You saw it here. You saw it first. I don't think I'm going to add pickles. I really don't. I really don't. Okay. What I do need to do though is corn juice. Open up the cans of tuna. I have one can of good tuna and two cans of Winko tuna, so I don't think you'll notice once it's all in the casserole. Ah, did you see that? I just put my hand on the stove. It didn't really burn, it was just warm and surprising. And then I, st I put my hand on the stove and stepped on an onion at the same time, so I was very distracted. Also, I'm getting warm. Oh, and Does it work? Oh God. 
Corn juice. There we go. Where's our, the overhead, the fan? I've never really had one in my life. So I don't remember to use it very much. Also, I cannot put cans on this cutting surface. Ugh, ugh, where, you can't see, but there's a ring. I did once and it left a ring. I don't know why. Oh, oh. Oh, beef stew. The pervert said something nice. Okay, uh, maybe. Yeah, beef stew is actually a pretty good idea. I do quite like beef stew. Unless you're making some sort of perverted joke. You might be. I don't, I, it went over my head. Okay. Ooh. Lost onion. Okay. Um... I'm trying to decide how much tuna I need. I think I need two cans. Let's see who expires first. Oh, this expired a while ago. So we'll be using the Winco tuna. <laughs> Yuck. Expired tuna? No thanks. I'm going to skip that. Usually um, can expirations don't bother me, but <laughs> I don't know when it's fish. No thanks. I just can't. Oh my god. Uh, if any of you is Santa Claus, will you please buy me a better can opener? I prefer the KitchenAid type. I had one for a long time. My ex-boyfriend, Sean Palmer, left it on the stove of my first apartment and melted the handle a little bit, but it was still functional. But Carlos insisted that we throw it out, and um, it was very much against my wishes, and he replaced it with this one. I love him very much, but this can opener doesn't cut it for me. <laughs> it hurts. It's like the 1800s. Actually, no, this would be like the 1910s can opener. 1800s, they had that little thing. No thanks. Okay, turn the tin. Stir the veg. I actually think I'm going to take it off the heat. Actually, no, I'm not. My flour's only starting to thicken. I wasn't gonna add cream soup, but I think I am. That's my other secret ingredient, is um, my dad would always use um, cream of mushroom, but I don't really eat cream of mushroom. And I already have mushrooms in there, real ones that I cooked. Canned mushrooms, yuck. Ew, people who eat canned mushrooms, I mean, again, no, no judgment, I suppose. But why? Oh, milk, I could add, okay. <laughs> Duh. I think I might do that. I definitely added my tuna and celery to her, or I mean my carrots. I have unsweetened almond milk. I'm gonna add some of that. And I might add more flour. Maybe some cornstarch, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, you know what else I'm gonna add? Nooch. That was clearly like a quarter cup. I don't measure that. Why would I measure that? We're gonna, actually I should stir it. <laughs> Once this thickens up, and maybe the nooch will make it smell cheesy. Oh, it is starting to thicken. Okay, this is good. Yeah, this is looking good. Okay. I'm in it. I'm in it. Please get thick. That was my wish to you, sauce. You know what? I feel like I've forgotten something, and that is... Where's Chestershire? Where's Chestershire sauce? Give it a shake, because there's some crud at the bottom that you want distributed. You want to distribute the crud. And not very much. Maybe two plops. Very scientific term, plops. Oh, okay. Anytime I moan, it's because I'm in pain. I need you to know that. Oh, we almost got glasses in the food. That would have been bad. I can't tell if the radio is playing MacArthur Park. That is one of the funniest songs I've ever heard. Oh, oh. 
that Worcestershire hand. Oh, I need to drain this tuna. I'm not done yet. Oh my God. I really don't like opening the tuna. I really don't hurt. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna stop making snooky noises because the tuna can hurts. Okay, and we're done. And we're done. Woo, I did it. Proud of myself. Did I get my frozen stuff out? Oh! Okay, that almost got on the rug. It didn't. I don't think it did. Yeah, I did. I got mine. Okay, it's just peanuts. Um, feel free to use frozen corn, but I'm a sick freak who likes to drink the juice from the corn can, so I'd never use frozen corn. At least for this, I don't. And I'm squeezing as much of the juice out of the tuna as humanly possible. Because um, the more juice you get out of the tuna, the more room it has to absorb sauce. All right. Wash that tuna fish juice down the drain so it don't smell like tuna fish in your home. All right, she's starting to get thick. Sauce is a little bubbly. Carrots are barely cooked. Celery is barely cooked, so that's good news, bears. Um, I don't really want to add the corn right now, so I'm not liking this. Is my pan? Kind of? I don't know. There we go. That's less sealing me. It's just me right now, so I'm going to do whatever I want. Everyone's left my stream, so it's just me. There's no perverts anymore. I kind of loved that. Oh my god, you guys, did you see that? I got sexually harassed. That was really funny. Or maybe they just don't know how to interact with humans. Who knows? It's fine. It's cool. I'm here for it. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to add pickles. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, I do know what I was thinking is pickles are great, and I might eat a pickle now that there's no pervert here. Ugh. This one goes out to you. Crispy bar cans one. Gone in two bites, that's the Scorpio in me. It's still Scorp season, by the way. So I'm allowed to be as vulgar as I want. I don't think you can see my food. There we go. I'm gonna use like a half bag of peas. Actually, that's kind of a lot of noodles. I don't know how I'm gonna add all this together, by the way. I just realized I'm gonna have to mix everything in this pan and I have no idea how that's gonna happen. All right, let's get those piece. I don't need to cook these because they're already cooked. They will cook in the oven. Let's add my kern. Whole pan, boom. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, I don't think there's any other secrets. If you are a cheesy person, you can add cheesy bits to this. I'm gonna put all my cheese on top. Oh, I should turn on the oven, oh my God. I like to bake casseroles on convect, because I can, because I have a convect oven. Um, I'm also very new to this oven. I've had it for like a year now, but I, it's my first time having a convection oven. It's my first time having a hood over my oven. So like I said earlier, I have to be constantly reminded to put the hood on. Um, but I just, I like the crispiness that you get with convection. I feel like it, let's sink water, it's fine. It's okay, it's gonna cook. Uh, yeah, I feel like it gets a more delicious top which is what I'm always searching for in a casserole is I'm putting all sorts of dry stuff on top, but then I do want it to bubble up and become gooey. So then the dry stuff doesn't ever become crispy. 
because it's gooey from the underneath, which is, again, fine. Like, we want the underneath to cook, but what about my dry stuff? Let me get the dish I'm going to use for my single serving this evening. <laughs> That's the size of my belly, right? Yeah, if you do it this way. It's that big. It's that big, bruh. This is a eight by six Pyrex. That's not too huge for one person to eat. I won't eat it all tonight too. I'll probably eat that over the course of tonight and tomorrow. Also, the other thing my dad would do when we would make a casserole is he would make the full casserole pan. So like the nine by 12 Pyrex pan of casserole and it would be delicious. And we would each have a serving. Sorry, I just got a whiff of tuna. <laughs> it's on my hands. I like tuna, but this no one likes the smell of tuna. Anyway, um, we would each have a serving. Usually we would have seconds, but my dad would walk by that and take a bite every time he walked by until at least half the pan was gone. We would at least eat half the Pyrex dish. If that's not dad moves, I don't know what is. All right, let me rinse this out. Actually, I don't have to rinse it out. I have to figure out how I'm going to get these noodles in here. I've made a huge mistake. All right, no, I haven't. I've made no mistakes. All right, let me break up. Noodles have been sitting in the sink for a while, so they're kind of stuck together, as noodles will do. Woo, very stuck together. Whoops. Oh my God, why did I not toss these? No, two others, toss your noodles, there we go. So they don't turn into one giant clump. Mmm. Mmm. That was disgusting. I'm glad I could share that with you all. These noodles are super dry, so they're going to be quite good. Oh, my God. Here we go. There we go. Figure it out, girl. They're going to soak up all of this delicious cassie sauce. I'm doing a gentle mix. I'm trying to get these shells up in the cassie sauce um, without breaking them too much. Oh, this is the perfect amount of sauce to be shells. I just should have used a bigger pan. Story of my life. Uh, I'm gonna taste this for salt before I put it in a dish. I know there's gonna be leftovers, that's fine. Um, I don't like to bake the entire amount of casserole at once because it's not as good as leftovers. You should just bake it each time. So that's why I will use a small dish like this to um, store a frozen casserole. In fact, I still have two of the insane food I made last week. Ravioli cheeseburger casserole, which was actually quite good. And again, everyone who I talked to about that was like, oh my God, I did this, how gross am I? They were like, no, it's a great idea. Why would you not put raviolis in a casserole? And I was like, but I also put manwich. And they're like, no, manwich is also good. So thanks everyone for not um, judging me for being the sort of person who uses manwich. Like I said, my mom, very judgmental. She would absolutely judge me for using manwich. I'm pretty sure I should ask her. Should definitely ask her about that. Okay, now that the tuna and the noodles are out, I'm gonna wash my hands to get the smell off of them. All those noodles, can you see? Probably not. Fine, just for me. Oh! We're gonna take the garbage out tonight because these cans freaking stink. Oh, I should be recycling them, but I'm not. <laughs> Corn can, I will. There's just something about the smell of a tuna can that's too vile to recycle. They don't want that. That's one of the things they don't want. But I know that's not true. You just have to rinse it well. All right, again, gentle mix. Oh yeah, this needs to be off. There we go. I've spilled a minimum. Like I, I could have spilled a little bit more. I'm pretty proud of myself for not spilling absolutely everywhere. I can tell by looking at this, it needs more pepper. There we go, it's happening. 
it's happening. It's not the like sauciest casserole. My dad, like I said, would absolutely make it with cream of mushroom soup, but I kind of feel like casserole doesn't need that much sauce on it, that much thick, creamy sauce. It's also gonna give me a bellyache and make me bloated if I eat that much cream soup. And my backup plan, if it didn't look delicious enough, which it does, it looks sufficiently delicious for me, was to use, I know this is backwards, but a can of Campbell's cheddar cheese soup. Oh, look at you. The pervert is back and they've said, if you put grated cheese on the top, you get a nice crispy layer. Well, I'm a step ahead of you, pervert. I like the way you think. Mm, I ain't done yet, fool. Just you wait and see what I have for the top of this casserole. I'm gonna blow your freaking mind, okay? I haven't gotten there yet. We haven't gotten there yet. I'm still in the mixing stage. Anyway, I'm gonna get this out of the way because I'm not using the can of cheddar cheese soup. I don't need it. Don't need it. We're gonna put it away. Into the soup portion of the cabinet. All right, whew. I think it's, I think it's mixed enough. I'm gonna taste it real quick to see if it needs any sort of sour. I can't tell. It smells pretty good, but it also smells very, um, I don't know. Oh my God, I just, I lost a pee. Ooh. I'm careful about picking all this up because dogs can't eat onions. And as you can see, there's a ton of onions. I just don't want my dog to get sick, so. All right, she needs salt. It's like, oddly citrusy. I'm using a lot of salt because this is diamond crystal. Weird, that's weird, that's weird. That's a tape, that's a place, whoa, wow, wow. I can't even talk, my brain is blown. Flavor I've never had in a chicken casserole. I think I used too much thyme. I think that's what happened. So we're gonna balance that out with a shit ton of pepper. It's not bad. It's just like, how did that happen? I also think I'm gonna add more butter. Why not? I got my butter knife right here. I only use like a third of a stick. Now I'm using two thirds of a stick. Also, it might be the um, almond milk, I mean, it's throwing me. Um, speaking of not liking cream of mushroom soup, you don't have to use cheddar cheese flavor, but cream of whatever, cream of asparagus was another one of my favorites to use. I haven't made tuna casserole in a couple years also, so maybe I don't, I'm not remembering correctly. I feel like I could have more tuna in this as well, but whatever, it's cool. There's gonna be cheese all over the top. That's really, that's really what a casserole is about, is a vessel of getting like cheese and crunchy bits into your face. The top of the casserole is the best, much like the top of the muffin. Top of the muffin to you, <laughs> top of the muffin is the best. We all love Elaine, Lady Elaine. Ugh. Okay. I know I turned this off, but the residual heat will melt the butter. It already is. I should probably, um, freeze the pan. There we go. Actually, I'm, that's making a big difference. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm getting there. That's good. I don't get needs a little more garlic. And I don't need to put that in there. Do a little bit of mooster. This is also a traditional heart family ingredient. Mustard. That's why I use powder. Oh, I forgot I turned the oven on. I want to be done by 4.30, which is about a half hour away, so I can watch this old house. Actually, I think it's first ask this old house and then this old house. It's a whole hour. My butter's not quite melted yet, but it's getting there. It 
It'll melt. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She's smelling garlicky and delicious. Damn, I wish I'd used a bigger pot. Um, I know I already asked y'all to tell Santa I need a new can opener, but maybe tell Santa I need a new pot that's like this. Big silver pot that's taller. The pasta pot. Did you say something else? I think it's money. I don't know. What car do you drive? I don't know how to drive. I don't have a driver's license. Oh, it's because I put AMA. Ah! <laughs> Ask me all the questions you want. I'm an open book pervert. I don't care. Um, but I don't have a driver's license. I'm 34 years old and I don't know how to drive. I don't need to. Take the bus. It's for the earth, right? No, it's because I just don't. It's not something I care to do. Okay. I think... I feel like this is mixed enough. I've been mixing it for like 10 minutes. Oh, you know what I should do? Oh my God. Did you see that? All right. Before I was proud of myself for not spilling. Now I'm, I'm really, I'm really spilling. Okay. I need to do the part that's going to blow your mind. I forget what I need to do that though. One thing I just need my hands. The other thing I'm going to need a tool. Here we go. See me? Do you see me, Chris Morocco? Do you see what I have here? Are you ready? Are you ready to see? Are you ready to see my true secret ingredient? Actually, there's two of them. They both relate to the stuff on top. Number one, jalapeno chips. Oh, I know where number two is. Already dipped into number two. Oh my God. I am so smart. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. I mean, S-M-A-R-T. Cheetos, white cheddar, puffs. They're so good. So my thought was, I'm gonna do some whole ones on top because they're not very big. But we're gonna have some gently crushed ones as well. Oh no. Oh no. So, I don't know if this will work. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep, this works. You have to cover one side so they don't all squeeze out, but I just wanted some as like dust almost. Yeah, buddy. Let's feed some Lucy's into the hopper there. Oh yeah. Dude, this is so smart. I am so smart. Is this something someone else has done before? Like, crushed up Cheetos to put on top of their casserole? Because I'm feeling very brilliant right now. Where's my Nobel Prize? Peace Prize, I think. Oh, yeah. This is so smart. I'm like... I've done a very good job. I'm also like very sweaty right now. Woo. Drop your cheats. Okay. This is perfect. There's dust. It kind of looks like Parmesan cheese. The dust does. There's also chunks. This is great. This is gonna be so good. I need to turn this song up. If you watched AP Bio, actually, I've loved this song before AP Bio, so whatever. Ho! Oh, holy Cheeto dust! I've just manufactured Cheeto dust. Okay.
Baker Street, I think this song is called. I always want to call it Fascination Street, but no, that's from a different band that I've already talked about today. Oh yeah, this is smelling real good. I'm probably just going to get one giant bite of <laughs> mustard, but whatever, it's fine. You're crying, you're crying now. Oh my god, okay. This is hype, y'all. Perfect, oh my god. Garlic, you needed garlic. Yum! I don't think you can hear. Ugh. Here you go, pervert. I don't know if you're still watching. This is how you're gonna bust a nut, okay? Watch me pumping the mist out. Ugh. Remember, it's a grown up pain. Ugh, okay. It's not even gonna spray. Yeah, it just sprays like a pissy stream. It doesn't, it's not a mist. Mist on my foot. It's easier than dumping olive oil in there though. Uh, I'm doing this so the noodles don't burn. Okay. There we go. Go all the way to the edge. I'm gonna do my best to not fill this to the entire top, but I probably will. Oh, here. I don't know if y'all know this about me, but I rub olive oil or butter or whatever into my finger because I'm gross. But it's good for your cuticles. And I'm um, like a licensed nail tech, so I think I know what I'm talking about. I was sarcastic in case you didn't realize. Mm, yum! Okay. I also kind of washed off my hands because the next step is involving my hands. Oh, yeah. He's jalapa now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I like to use kettle chips because they're clearly thicker. So they make a more delicious crust, in my opinion. Oh! Noodle overboard. I think it actually fell back in the pot. All right. Now that I have this filled, I can much more easily stir it. Okay. That should be enough. I'm going to do one more scoop. Beauty. Beauty. Did I say I was going to do one more scoop? <laughs> oh, that looks good. Okay. Next, I'm going to do cheap. Actually, I'm gonna clean up clean my mess a little bit. I'm gonna put this in the discard pile. Oh my god, it's so sweaty. <gasps> okay. I don't need my knife anymore. I'm gonna do that one over there. Easy to wash. Okay. Jeez. Actually, ooh, you know what I'm gonna do first? New cheese. All right, I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but I'm doing it. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Like I bought something else really cool to put in these and I'm totally forgetting what it is, but Honestly, I was at the store trying to decide my chips, and like I said, I asked many a coworker what their favorite Cassie topping was. People said breadcrumbs or um, cornflake or chips. Every now and then, someone would be like, oh, hell yeah, I'm with you on the chips. We were breadcrumb people for many years. Nothing wrong with being a breadcrumb person. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, so decent layer of cheese. I am pretty much lactose intolerant, so I try not to eat a lot of cheese. 
But also, life is too short to not eat cheese or ice cream. I've decided that in the past few months. My life has been hectic and strange, and I know it's much better for me physically to not be eating dairy or ice cream, um, any sort of processed foods or sugars, but oh my God, have you guys had ice cream? <laughs> have you tried ice cream? It's really good. It makes my heart feel good and my brain, maybe not my stomach, maybe not my brain in the long run. <laughs> Whoops, okay, so anyway. Next I'm gonna add a couple handfuls of my jalapeno chips. And sorry, I put it right in front of the thing, but I gotta crush it before I sprinkle it. We want like a regular spranks of chips. I don't know if y'all, well, I've mentioned it before, I'm a big fan of Bon Appetit. I already made a Bon Appetit reference in this stream. Um, but I just watched the episode of Gourmet Makes where she makes Pop-Tarts. And yes, I am that far back. I'm watching them in chronological order and I'm saving them. Oh my God, this is gonna be good. Anyway, she made her own sprinkles out of royal icing and she just kind of cut them until they were irregular and sifted out the bits that were too small. In this case, I want the bits that are too small. Um, I'm starting out with the jalapeno chips and then I'm gonna put the Cheetos on top. Here, also. Oh yeah. So. Actually, I might, do I wanna rinse off my hands before I ch touch these cheats? No. I'm just gonna do the whole, this is a mortar and pestle from Ikea. So I don't know if that's a standard unit of measure. I feel like most people have been in an Ikea and have looked at every GD thing in there because I have. I don't know if that's normal or not. Actually, I don't think my mom has ever been to Ikea. She might have gone with my auntie and they invited me and I was like, well, that sounds like a nightmare, so no. I should probably take her to Ikea. Oh, oh my God. Do you see this? No, because no one's watching. It looks so good. Oh! I'm tripping. I can't believe Papa doesn't like tuna fish casserole. This is insane. Okay, I gotta work my hands now. Wow, I'm really proud of myself. Ooh. I forgot I kinda have a cut on my hand so that hurt pretty bad. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this in the oven. Let me get out my blessed parchment. Blessed Costco roll of parchment. And, oh, heat tray. This side. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. Put the parchment down in case there's some spillage. I'm going to put the cassie down and then I'm going to bake it. Like I said, it's on convect. Uh, I turned it to 325, but it automatically lowers it. Or 350, and it automatically lowers it 25 degrees, so it's at 325. Most recipes bake at 350, so just when in doubt, 350 it. You should be fine. I'm so proud of this casserole. Like, I, I mean, it's, it's, it didn't start off not smoothly. I'm not going to say that. Um, I just didn't know for a sec if it was going to work. And it looks to me like it's working just fine. So, I mean, really, the Cheetos white cheddar bites on top. I don't know. Is this a normal year-round item, or is this a Halloween item? There's a Halloween advertisement on the front. I don't know, but highly endorse the Cheetos. White, white chin bites. This is my bag of chips. Can I see that? I hope not. It's shameful. I also managed to do this without making a huge mess. I'm proud of myself for that. Ew. 
slimy mushroom just touched my finger. I actually don't like mushrooms that much. Um, fun fact, my mom had a bunch of funny odd jobs when I was a kid, and one of them was she delivered mushrooms for this friend of ours who foraged them. This is the Pacific Northwest, so that's a job people have. You just go in the woods and by yourself and pick a mushrooms and then sell them to fancy restaurants. Um, so I would go with her on deliveries and she'd load up her little Honda or Nissan. It was a Nissan actually. <laughs> load up her Nissan with mushrooms and the smell, the like earthy mushroom smell, which most people could die for. It was not into it. Not into it as a kid. Also, once she made steak with chanterelles on top, cooked in like butter sauce, they were it was good, okay? It was really good. Like wine and chanterelles, like the king of mushroom, except for oysters or kings, whatever. I don't know. Chanterelles are good. Good, fresh mushrooms. And I threw up, and so I hated mushrooms for years. I could not with mushrooms, which is why my dad would sneak it in in the form of tuna fish casserole because he loves mushrooms, and he loves cream of mushroom soup. I think I can touch this. Yep. Just remove that dry out noodle. Um, so I'm gonna put the leftovers, I'm just gonna put the lid on it, probably put them in the fridge. Because I'm lazy. I should close this flower. Put the flower away. We'll see if the whole flower works. I again I have no clue why it wouldn't work. Hey, that's kind of better. Um the sun is going down. So I'm gonna um, leave you at that. I'm gonna put the Cassie in the oven. Here, let me show you her prepared pan. She looks beautiful. I'm really proud of this Cassie. Let's see, I have a little, oh, you know what? <laughs> this is a phone. Hey, I did that. It's beautiful. Sorry, this is so shaky. Look at my casserole. Tuna fish casserole with Jalapeno, kettle chips, and Cheetos on the top. And um, a dairy-free inside, aside from the cheese that I put on top. I didn't use any dairy in this recipe, I'm just realizing that. So yeah, I'm gonna bake it at 350 until it smells really good, until it's bubbly and delicious. And then I'm gonna graze on it probably all night and hopefully only eat half of it. We'll see how that works out. But right now it's 412, so um, you know what's coming up soon. And I'm gonna watch this old house at 4.30. Hey, ask this old house. Oh my God, excuse me. It's really hard for me to stand. <sighs> so thanks to whoever's watching. Thanks to who to whoever tuned in to enjoy this. Um, oh, you just left, bye. Bye is the theory, or I mean the, the what I'm, uh, clearly it's time to go. Bye is the mood right now. I'm leaving the stream. I'm sweaty and I'm tired. I want to lay down and watch OPB. Love you, mean it. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.